So, we're going to see if there's any public comment. And seeing that there appears to be none, let's go on to our facility subject discussion. Okay, uh, at the last meeting we had asked Terry uh, Forrest with DJ and Engineering to uh, take a look at our uh, acreage up here behind the district office to see whether or not it would be feasible to uh, locate a drain to look in that vicinity. Uh, Terry was going to go back and rework some numbers and uh, take a look at the site to make a determination as to what the costs would look like in that area. And so what you have before you today is a summary of a four sheet, four page summary that uh, talks about replacing what is called the high school drain field and that is the current drain field that's currently in failure and to construct a new high school drain field up on the district lands up here behind the district office to connect the elementary school to the north existing lift station and to um, take items two and three together so that we can move everything up here in the district office. And then there is item five, which is items two and three, drain fill only. So I'm going to allow Terry to go ahead and run through and explain all of this to you. And then with that, if you have any questions, Would you like to write on the whiteboard tonight? Would that be helpful to you? Okay, all right. I thought what I'd do first is uh, just give you an idea. I'll pass these around so you can look at them. This is a, uh, a drain field that's, that isn't a trench. You know, it's a regular mild drain field. It's actually for wastewater, but it's the same look. Because you put gravels down here, and you lay these pipes out where they're going to be, and then you lay these over the top, and as you put these little four-foot pieces together, you're hooking the pipe to the top. I don't like the pipe I'm laying on the ground. You've got to hook it to the top. So that's kind of how it looks laid out. Then what you do is now you've got them all laid out, and you run the, the manifold down the middle that connects each way. Put the end caps on so that you can blow them out if you need to, and then you cover them up with something. We covered it up with gravel material, and then they were going to put sod over the top of that. And this is at the Wetuknuk, where you recognize some of this stuff, and right off the side of that building, in an area where they weren't going to allow people to play or picnic or anything like that. And that's to get rid of all their stormwater out of that parking lot that was giving them a little bit of a problem. Now, the first thing I guess that I'll talk about, and I, I don't know how much detail we need to go into, I and mean, you can ask questions, whatever, but the, the number one item is to replace the high school drain field at its current location. That's the one we talked about the other night that was $100,000. And you'll notice on my sheet here, my summary sheet, it's 123. Uh, John asked me to include sod that I didn't have on that first one. So when I put sod out there, that jumped that, that's why that number is higher to do that. Uh, I can go through, and I'll just go through these first, and then you can ask me any individual questions that you like. Uh, now, if we wanted to construct that exact same drain field, just dealing with the high school, the 6,400 gallons, up there, and how we decided where, we walked this, I had another engineer and I came down, and we walked this once, and then we walked it with John once, and then we looked over some other things. Up in that corner of your property, because it's kind of L-shaped like this, in that corner, I took a 40-foot area off each property line approximately, and then stuck the drain field in there. And then figured some other things, and I'll show you a picture up here in a minute. But that's where it is. But th the point here is, is that the two numbers to compare is the 123,000 down there versus the 226,000 up there. They're identical. Other than now we've got a lift station down there and the dosing tank is up here and we got the pipe going up to it. That's the difference in cost. So that's what it would take. Now the reason that the other thing is is to connect the elementary school to this system. 
And I think last time we talked, I had indicated if there's the same number of kids. Because my understanding is, after looking at the, the website, did you get about 900 kids? Um, about 830. 830? Okay. My number was 460. And I recalculated based on a different amount of liquid that another 460 would generate because they don't have a gym, they don't have a showers, and they don't have a cafeteria. That's all in the other one. So that reduced it quite a bit. Uh, a third, two thirds is kind of the total flow now. Okay. So if I do take that flow, I have to put a 6,000 gallon septic tank, which basically means you don't need any of the other ones, but you're still going to have one in line, the one that's up underneath that building over there. I'll, we'll just leave that there. Even if we have to go in and pipe it through it, we'll, we'll do something. But we put a new 6,000 gallon grain field there and then put a six foot diameter. I need some uh, emergency storage, so I'm probably going to end up with a six foot diameter lift station. Just that side of the, the septic tank. And the reason I need the, the emergency storage is if power goes out, you're still getting sludge in there. And you're going to need sewage, and then you're going to need some hours to, to make sure you've got enough so you can get it fixed before something happens. Okay, then I run up from there, I just run a pipe over to the existing, I should point that way, over to the existing dosing manhole right now, which will become, if, if it moves up there, it'll become a lift station at that point. I figured that the the type of pumps we're going to need in there are going to be, I've got three half horse pumps right now in the dosing manhole. We're going to need one horse pumps, two of them, in that manhole. Because I, and I couldn't find my exact number, but it's 50 or 60 feet, 50 or 60 feet difference between there and up there. So just to overcome that head, and I'll probably end up, I was hoping to get by with a three inch line, but I might end up having to go to four inch. Because the pumps, I, I want to get at least 100 to 150 gallons a minute. That's the flow I need to get up there each time. And I'll just take the pumps that are there, move them up there with the rails and all the floats and all that stuff. Take the, the uh, uh, control panel, floats, the rails, the pumps go up. Now, in order to do that work over here, a new septic tank, a new lift station, and 300 foot of line. You know, that's just the amount that's needed there. That's $87,000. And my thought there is, and again, I'm kind of getting a little ahead of myself, assuming that we're going to move that one, at least, is we would do that at the very beginning of this project this summer so that we get it tore up, possibly fixed up, maybe it's gravel, but hopefully asphalt, so that there's no digging or anything there when the kids get here. Because we are definitely going at least two months beyond September. September, October, possibly some of November, in order to do the other project. So I want to get that done so the kids just, when they get here, they can still run back and forth and all this kind of stuff. Maybe a little bit gravelly, but do it that way. Then uh, I would come out of the dosing manhole down there. We leave everything operational and put in the line and the drain fields and everything up there. Then we come back down, put in the new man manhole, uh, manhole, septic tank over there because I need another septic tank also. And then reconnect everything up. It would take a day, could be a weekend when you don't have a game or something going on, but just a weekend. And have that in the specs so that the contractor knows he's got to do it in a certain way. Because the two things that that affect him on this are putting in that septic tank lift station and 300 feet from the elementary school and then just sitting it there. Don't cook it up. That's just going to run like it is right now until the end. Then we're going to come back and dig a hole in one, after, one morning, one afternoon, connect the pipes, close it up. Now it depends on if you want to take anything out of the ground. I mean, if you want those manhole lids and stuff taken out, or do you want to just kind of bust them out and then fill them with sand, 
you should pump them out first, fill them with sand, and then compact them and put asphalt, new asphalt, so you don't have a bunch of manholes out there to look at. Uh, we, re, we did re-look at those again, and the gentleman I brought with me doesn't think that the, the manhole that I told you about that has a pump in it has to do with the sewer. He thinks it has to do with stormwater. And, and he's right, there was no smell. And there was certainly a difference from looking in this septic tank from looking in there. A huge difference. Where's that manhole you're talking? Which one? It's right on the on south. The south side? Yeah. There's a there's a, a couple of valves that say valves on them, and we can't get those open, those lids. Okay. But there's a there's a septic tank that's very obvious that's what it is. It has a filter and it yeah. and then right down ten feet away from it is a manhole that has a little pump in it, just one. And I don't know what it pumps or where it pumps to. No clue. It's operational. So I don't know that either. It may just come into there and then gravity out somewhere and then disappear. What do you think this what do you think it is? Or no, It'd probably be from roof drains, I guess. But I I don't know. The gentleman that was here last time indicated that he might have some drawings that he could show me. Uh, and it may have something on there. Because if he put this thing in, or his father, this is so close that they would have had to known it on there that that's what, there's something else there. Unless it got put in later. So all the digging and where you come under the highway, if we did that, where would that be? On this end of the building? Or? The, the digging that we would be doing What I have here is from here, if you can see my finger, out to the student parking lot. And I went to the very far one just because I didn't think the asphalt over there was quite as good. And I know I could get easily through there. We could save some pipe by doing it a little different. I'm just trying to get cost. And then cross the road. And then go down this side of the road and then go up behind the trailers and all the way up to there. And those six little boxes up there, that's the six drain fields. And that area that's kind of a trapezoid, that's the influence zone. And that should be on your property. And so if, if it is in fact like these down here that are all lined up this way, and that means they go that way, you know, the, the, the underground stuff goes, the water direction, then I put this the same way. And so that would be about where it is. If we find during the, the design that it's skewed a little, maybe it goes more towards, a little bit towards the creek, we may have to move that over a little. So a question on the influence zone. Um, can you build a building in that? Or any structure in that foundation? Do you, do you want, do you want, uh, uh, Because I know that that leads into the prime chunk of the property for eventual development in the future. So I, I guess my, my thought is if you can't put a structure in there, then maybe this drain field would be better off if it's moved instead of the northwest corner of this property to the southwest corner of the property down closer to the ball fields. Because I know that this this section right in here is where, you know, this this is this, the prime large chunk of land for any building in the world. What I did is I, what PEQ usually goes by is 500 feet, and that's what that represents, is a 500 foot long influence zone. And I have in the past been able to get away with 200 feet. I even got away with 100 feet once. Uh, it just depends on soil characteristics and some other things of, of what the soil can do. Uh, so it does, that's the maximum length that it would be. Mm -hmm. But I think you could probably put a building there as long as it didn't have a basement. If you want a basement, then I'd say no. That that isn't a good place for it if you want a basement. But you might have this gray water gravitating under the bed. But it does go down. It doesn't just go like this. It it goes down. So it's quite a ways under. I'm just saying 
my thought is is you probably don't want to do a basement, although you might be able to, depending on how how that goes. I haven't done any any exploration of how that would look. Well, that brings a good point because I remember last time we were discussing Pat, you were saying that we had this so-called like a daydream or whatever of this new facility that we we're discussing. Where where was the thoughts? Putting that facility when all that was being discussed. Thought right in this area. Yeah, it's right in this area. It's because it's from this red fence to that red fence on up through here, and that this parking lot would be a multi-use parking lot, and possibly a road coming off of here for bus to drop off one way road to come off this way with buses, and then possibly a cul-de-sac here so that parents would come in and drop their kids off at the start. Name. So I mean, because I know we, I mean, we went as far as that. I remember we approved drawings for that mm -hmm. for a large sum. Did they have any uh, civil or underground included in where, when under this design, when where were they planning on putting the new sewer if we had a new facility? They didn't have. They didn't go into that kind of depth with with this design. We with only got architectural. We only got architectural. And that was for that bond. Does this sure. particular zone have to be on the downgrade from from here? Okay. So it couldn't go this way. Okay. And, and that, that makes sense. It just makes sense. Yeah. And I think if we move this over towards the baseball diamonds mm -hmm. and had that same look, what we would end up doing with a 500 footer is we would end up on their property. And that you don't want to do either. So then the, you're not allowed to, are you? or you have to get an easement. Well, they don't like to do it that way, but yes, you could get an easement. And that has a lot to do with their well, which is over here, unless there's another one somewhere that we don't know about, you know, that sort of thing. But you, you would come across, I'm just trying to think, your well's like right in here someplace, I think. I think your building is kind of. <laughs> Your well's kind of right there. So if we moved over even a little bit, you know. We get close to the mixing zone. Right. We could get, you know, get the mixing zone so it came out right there and it wouldn't be a problem. I have a question. Would you foresee any problems where you have to have a, 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 a bend in it like that? No. There would never be anything that would. What about this comes across onto the west side of the highway? Mm -hmm. You didn't, would you have to take out that walking path and everything? So I really, did, I didn't even know there was a walking path there. I drove by there and I didn't realize it. Yeah. If it was, if it was easier to do, and less costly, we could come over here and go across. I just was going to try not to mess up the school. Okay. And this particular, this part right here isn't the school's property. No. So that would be an easement. That no, I, I think we're going to do it in the right of way. In the right of way. Okay, that's what I meant. That would be in the right of way. Okay. It looked to me like there's a 66 foot. Yeah, there. I think there is. And this road here, someday might get used. And that's fine. That's not over the drain field. It can be over the influence zone. Oh. Okay. So when you say influence, you're saying emergent. I mean, is that? That's where the 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 effluent goes down through the soil. And it gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner, cleaner and cleaner, and then right here at the end, it's really clean. And so you could have a well right here. Okay. Now you talked about there not being any room with 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 the one on the elementary school side, this that little one, an emergency zone. Isn't, isn't that what you call it? It's when, it's a alternate drain field. Alternate drain field. So is this is this also an alternate drain field for this? I would probably draw that in right next to it. Okay. So it doesn't have to be as huge as no. this. Okay. So all these trees would be gone? No. In this area? No. Just the trees it would be gone would just be the ones there. Just there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it really would, it, I walked up there and it looks pretty nice as far as taking the trees out, not necessarily get, getting rid of them. You know, somebody come in and take them out for you for free, but then they'd get them. Is I'd like to put those around the boundary of the drain field. Because the worst thing that happens is you have a car go in there. Yeah. You know, jump off the road, spin around, and do a bunch of stuff. I like to keep those nice big trees. They never do that here. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we can sell them. <laughs>
So this isn't the emergency, or the, what do you call it, the alternative, the second whatever. Yeah. This is, okay, this is what's draining down. Yeah. If, if we go to this plant across the road. If we go to this plant across mm -hmm. the road. Talk, we have in the, so there will be one lift station, unless we have to connect the, exist, the south existing a lot two lift stations. Who, who maintains those lift stations throughout? Your maintenance person. Our maintenance person. Okay, now here's the next question. Okay, look here. If we just did the high school drain <coughs> it compromised right now, and then pumping it across, would we have to um, connect that this elementary one yet? Mm -hmm. With so this eighty-seven thousand, that isn't that's that's to get the waste from there up to there. Doesn't have anything to do with us connecting the element, you know, the other green field to this system. Okay. The way I priced it was the six of them that I show here mm -hmm. is actually enough to deal with both systems. There's enough space there, enough area to deal with both. So, it, and it's kind of difficult to say I wanted to increase the size by a third. <coughs> so what I'm saying is, under this first. The second number, 226, that included a space this long for the laterals to go up. And if you add the elementary school, you're going to need this much more space. So you're going to have to dig up at the end of that and add pipes on each one of those for this much. And that total was $21,070. That's what that was meaning right at that last one, is drain field only. If there's any way you could come up with an extra $21,000, I would certainly recommend that you just get the drain field done because the pumps will be available to, to deal with it when it hooks on, the pipeline will deal with it when it hooks on, the lift station will deal with it hooked on, and you just won't hook it on yet. It'll all be there, it'll all be the right size. Yep. And the, the, the number then would be approximately $250,000 to do the number two plus the drain field. I, did, I kind of did it that way just so you, although you know, if you look at it, 87,000 minus 21, that's only 60,000 more. Jeez, let's do it. <laughs> but maybe that's not what you want to do. I'm giving you that option. Well, crepes, it's only money, right? <laughs> I have a question for John. You know reserves, and I know I know this differs every year, but if we were to decide on number four and do the did the whole thing for three hundred and thirteen thousand, now that doesn't give us that does that give us any contingency for overrun or under there there is contingency in here. And incidentally, all of my numbers here should be high. I really would not expect these to be low. Somebody isn't going to come in more than three hundred thirteen thousand. You're saying your contingency is about ten percent. Yes, okay. it's ten percent. So your question is, how long does it take? I mean, right now we're sitting at five hundred thousand. That would leave us a little less than two hundred thousand. How long does it take? Would it take us to build that back up to the five hundred? We were about where we would be at the end of this. When you came, when I came, so okay. it was eight years. It took about eight years of you know getting into the year money so that we could stick into the reserves because we were right. you know we were dedicated to trying to build that up right. in the event. But I will say this: I um, spoke with the auditor today in the debt service fund for the building bond issue. Um, we have collected taxes on people who have protested taxes. So they're being taxed for the new building, mm -hmm. and we paid that building off. But we still, they're paying their taxes delayed to us because they protested. We have about $80,000 there, and the auditor has told us, get it out of the debt service, put it into a functional line. You can stick it in a tech fund. You can stick it in a building reserve fund. So the idea is you can stick that into the building reserve fund, and then you can use building reserve fund dollars 
from that money is to help with this project. Okay. That, that, so, that makes me feel a little better. So I mean that is something that we just learned today from yes. the auditor. So you say when you came here eight years ago we had about 200k in uh, reserve and over eight years we added an additional 300,000 approximately. approximately. Terry? Yes. Uh, high school Greenfield down here and hook up the elementary down here. Could you enlarge the high school a little bit and then run the elementary over there? No. I had to enlarge it by a third. And I mean, I'm, I'm using that whole area. If you look at this, this whole area right there by the sidewalk right now. So I'd have to increase it by a third, which would put me over here. Both, both pieces of the playground there, right? I mean I, I mean, I shouldn't have said I can't. There is some space to do it, but you're just taking more of your area. And then you would abandon the other and you'd have about a fourth, maybe, at the most of your, uh, what do you mean a fourth? Maybe a fifth of your grass area out there that wouldn't have a drain field under it. But we, not, not just in case there was something would go wrong, and yeah. maybe we're borrowing trouble there. Maybe the elementary will function for quite a while yet. I know there was one time last year, I believe it was about a year ago, when some child got into a little bit of water over here, a little wet. Supposedly, according to Dennis, over there underneath one of the the soccer bas uh, not baskets nets. It's a real dugout area, you know, where they kind of squip back in there and do a lot of this. It's this much lower than than the rest of it. There was some water in there, mm -hmm. and although nobody smelled it on the child, supposedly he went home and then somebody said that he could have been had some or he could have had some. So, I, I mean, I don't know that that field, that drain field did that, mm -hmm. but it just kind of makes me nervous because it's right there. I mean, it's the lat one of the laterals is right back at that spot. Well, what I'm thinking, several, several of us remember, we tried to get a municipal sewer system in here one time, about 10, 12 years ago, which was a mighty fine idea, probably, and it still would be a good idea. So if we get into all this expense to get up here, and that, and this would last 30 years, that might happen in 30 years. If we just fixed it down here, maybe, maybe, just maybe, a sewer system would be required in this town within that much time, which if we went up here, then that's not necessary anymore. Whatever sewer system we'd have wouldn't be necessary. I know that I've talked to some people from DEQ about when this happened, where you went through all the engineering and all this stuff. Spent a lot of money on that. And by not taking that money, you basically are at the end of the line. Because a lot of other people got to use it and they gave it to you and you had a project to use it and you did it and you're at an end of the line. So it, it is going to be a while before you would get that type of, of uh, <coughs> large system. Offer, oh, yeah. I mean, you'd end up with, you're going to have to jump through several loops, have some additional costs associated with it. And by the time in 20 years that cost is going to have gone up 50% at least just to do it. And who knows what's going to happen where they were going to put it out here as far as somebody else buying it, <coughs> not interested in dealing with it. You might even, I mean, if you're talking 30 years, you're probably going to have to go to a mechanical system. And those are expensive. Well, yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, the density is 
is uh, growing around here, and sooner or later it might come to it, or you don't have a choice. Or you have to start not having people uh, subdivide lots because you, you don't have any more. I mean, they're going to be moving out of town and building and then working in town or something like that. But I don't know that you'll get very many people in town to do it. I would certainly hope that the next time you would go with a system like that. Something big. I mean, that was quite a, quite a stir. Yeah. Well, what's what is the what's a long time? You figure, twenty, thirty years. For what? To get get that offer again for some money to build that. I think the a, yeah, municipal sewer system. Oh, I would say it would probably be at least ten, if not twenty. That's what I'm thinking. And you're going to have to have more money that you put in on it, <clears throat> or that you borrow and pay interest on rather than get grants, because they gave you quite a bit of grant money. And that may not be as much, I don't mean they would give you something, they would give you something, but not, not as much, especially if the price of it goes up 50%. I mean, I don't remember what the cost of that whole thing was, a couple, three million dollars? Four. Four, and that included all the main lines in town. That's not getting any cheaper at all. Um, and the, the treatment facility part of it is definitely not getting any cheaper, just because there aren't there aren't uh, areas to do it in that you can you know keep. Somebody's not going to keep it for you, unless you maybe have a spot of land right up there that you can do something with it. Yeah. Well, I just uh, I just thought I'd throw that in there just uh, because. Uh, a person would hate to spend a bunch of money and then it's not something you need in 10, 15 years when you could get by with for 20 or 30 down here or maybe even a little longer. So I just, but it's it's a gamble. I understand that. I know that the, if, if they did come in here in 10, 15 years and try to get somebody to do a sewer, you wouldn't be required to connect to it. If, you're, if you aren't having any problems, which I guarantee you're not going to have any problems in 10 or 15 years, you're just going to keep doing your thing. You're not going to get assessed or anything. I suppose maybe you wouldn't anyway because you're in school. But you would not have to connect. You just have to keep going. And even if you built a new building up here, you've got an existing system that's that would be sized for whatever you got 900 kids down here. You got a thousand in the future, maybe you add a couple of cells or something and you connect to it. That's my next question. So you, it it's, can be added on to. And this, you say, is not going to interfere with a building site? Yeah. It depends on what the building site is. If you well, there are many schools that have, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. You said it would, it would be a problem if there was a basement. And typically schools have at least a portion of their building in a basement. Mm -hmm. Their mechanical rooms, some of that kind of stuff is mm -hmm. almost always in a basement. Mm -hmm. uh, the gymnasium a lot of times is built down a little mm -hmm. bit so it doesn't have to be so high mm -hmm. type of thing. Uh, I'm not saying that that is the ideal spot. That's just where we looked and it looked like it would work. I could check out some other areas. Uh, I could at least move it over <coughs> halfway. I could move this this over to here. Now, if that would help you a lot, or if you need all of this, right where my hand is, then there is a problem, because I'm not going to have enough for that room. Well, don't we have drawings on this existing building that we were talking about building? I mean, what's the square foot of it? How big well, is it? Well, I think at that point it was just an elementary building. Mm -hmm. um, but Our, it's the, hard to say what, what that building would be if, in fact, it would be an elementary building or a high school or, I mean. Wasn't it, what was, what was it, what did we draw? What did, I mean, CTA, let me pay 25000 for drawing, I remember. K-5 elementary only, that was it. Yep. Mm -hmm. How big, probably any guess, do you know the <coughs> problem? Do you the <coughs> I mean, 
obviously, I mean, it, it's, it's got to go somewhere. I mean, it, it seems to me like you're saying we could we could definitely move it here or there. It's not really going to have that big of effect on your new facility. You can work with it. And we have enough land. Do we have enough? The only thing you don't have enough is over there by the baseball right. bat going that way. Yeah. You just don't have the, the depth. Right. But the uh, influence zone, you're saying you can use for what? I mean, whatever, right? Whatever. You can basket. I mean, football fields I and mean, any kind of stuff like that. That that's not I mean, a problem. It looks like seventy percent of this is influence zone that I'm looking at. Yeah. Yeah, I think the influence zone is 500 feet, and the, the other ones is 160 feet, something like that. Okay. Well, I think, I mean, I don't know, I can't remember exactly, but I think that area that's over by the park, the thought was that that area could be used for playground, you know, all those kinds of things, since it wasn't big enough for an actual, I mean, be, because of the way that we, the bus route was going to come in, it worked better for the building to be down here than over here. So as far as having a system right over there, that that's good if we could still use this existing piece of ground right here to build on at, at some point. And that, that would just mean that part of your building, the part that's there, I, I wouldn't necessarily say you'd want to have a basement there. But you got area this side, you got area this side that could have basement on any of that. Build up, go up. Could do that too. Well, that's quite a little distance up there, though, where that influence fields. Yeah, it is. It, it, there is still a, a nice chunk of land that's down here. You bet. This yeah, because the, the parking of... lot's there, so right. this is like almost three times the three of the parking lots to get to it. Yeah. And like I say, I just put it in there as 500. I didn't really have enough time to call a bunch of people to get this out, so it, it may be able to be reduced. Mm -hmm. That's all something you've got to submit. I just can't imagine there being any buildings clear up there. You'd want to stay yeah. fairly close to the highway. Yeah. And the parking lot. That's a lot of square footage. Okay, so if we do the whole thing, we're looking at 313,000. And you're saying that you could do the 87,000 job before school starts. I mean, all of that, so that's dug up and whatever and covered over by the time school starts. The rest of it we could be working on next fall. And then and in the meanwhile... We you mean this have, fall, this coming fall? Yes. Yes, okay. Fall. okay. Yes. Yeah, this coming fall. And in the meanwhile, we still have the, that particular part of our drain field roped off because we haven't done anything with that yet. Correct. Is that correct? Well, I guess the two first things that we would have require the contractor to do would be put in the, the septic tank right. over here, put in the other septic tank, put in the lift station, do the piping over to it, and then do the piping and not connect to any of the, new, the old system yet. And then connect out and go up to the to the road and cross the road. Yeah. Now he can pave. Yeah. And that's all he needs to do to pave. Then and anything he, else is not paved. And so did you find out? Oh, so so we're drilling underneath the because it is a state highway. Well, is that right? My my the guy that was with me he doesn't think you'd have to go underneath. Okay. But I told him about the fiber optics and he says, well maybe they've got a deal where you have to. Okay. But I've got like I think I got. Uh, let me let me just find my number. Yeah. Nine thousand dollars. Or under the highway. Yeah. Or under the highway. Now you're going to have to replace asphalt, and you won't get all that nine thousand back. But I've also continued my pipe cost as if you're just doing the pipe. So. Save a little there. Well, with the addition of the eighty thousand dollars, I'm feeling a whole lot better about the fact that we put that back into our reserve fund. Colby's absolutely right. We have struggled with this for years and years and years and years. Um, I, I don't have a problem fixing the existing one, but then you're telling us that the elementary is 
it's a crapshoot. It's going to go at some point because it's older than that one, and Lord knows when that's going to happen. So with that, I make a motion that we go with the number four, which is the item two and item three, for $313,000, which would be, tell me again, lower high school drain field being routed to the, what, what corner was that? North, Northwest. Northwest or corner. some other place up there. Right, okay. Um, the 87,000, that would be the list station that would pump the waste to the pipes up to the new drain field that we have here. Am I missing anything? Okay. Sounds like you got it. All right. That's my motion. Well second. Okay, so now we're going to have discussion. So this is just a dumb question. So for three hundred and thirteen thousand, we don't get. We're not doing anything to the elementary school subject. Yeah, we are. We are. That it. That's that's abandoning that and fixing whatever and hooking it all. So that's the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Okay. okay. It's all, right. all the sewage as far west as we can. Okay. All right. All right. And the one thing it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that it that. doesn't do is we would just leave all the drain fields, everything in place. Except for the south one, we probably want to take off some of those lids and you know fill them. But the drain field over here, even though there's there's uh, chambers underground, that should, the picture I showed you of those chambers, some contractor would have to clean them, power wash them. He's going to say, "Forget it, I'm buying new ones. I'm not going to do that." So we're going to leave everything in the ground. That's what I plan. There won't be anything taken out. I mean, once we switch this over, you take the rope down. I mean, it's pretty much that simple. It guarantees no more ponding on our playground. Right. You'll have sewage. Surface, surface water. Right. Yeah, but I mean, no. exactly. Sewage yep. ponding on it. Because there's nothing flowing into it. Correct. Correct. Okay. And we would shut off, you know, plug every every pipe and valve and stuff like that. It would be nice not to have any problems. Like that. we've had that for years, popping up every once in a while. Because I was working there when when Bob O'Brien in the new sewer thing over by the little building and there were lifts and a whole bunch of stuff they had to do. And that's probably been 20 years ago at least. Well, I, I'd like to say I think this is a permanent fix. I, I could not agree more with where, where we're spending our money and finally putting an issue to this sewage system. It's been, it's been ongoing for a long time. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more with what we're so the, so the other piece of the puzzle is that we get to putting a building over here, then we've already got this over here sized, and if we need to add a few chambers or whatever we need to do, we're still we're still over here using this. Mm -hmm. If we build a building across the street here, so. And I would, I guess I would assume, I've got this size now for 460 kids, so that's 900 and some kids. So if you're down back to 850. I think the kind of the internet said you were at 900, but you know if, you, if that's kind of where you're going to be fluctuating, I, do you foresee that you're going to be up to 120? 120. 120 more students where we're at right now. Yeah. It's going to be a few years. Well, somebody'd have to come in and put in some sort of jobs. Yeah. How much? What are you talking? You say you're sized for 900 and some. What, what's the next size up? Well, what are you talking? The way I've calculated the flows, it's based on 460 kids there and 460 kids there, but they're different, and they have, each have a different flow. Including staff and everybody. Yeah, and including all. staff, that's right. correct. So if, if you built a new elementary up there, you wouldn't have an elementary down here anymore. So you would have room for more students if that's what you think you'd have. If you get more students, than the 900 and whatever that number well, is. Well, I think probably if, in fact, of course I could be wrong, if we were to build a new building over here, those bu this building down here would probably still be used some by some students. So, I mean, so it's definitely there wouldn't be as, I don't think the numbers would be as much, but there would be some use coming from those buildings. And at that point in time, you would want to expand the drain field, whatever you needed to. Right. 
and, and it certainly wouldn't have to be doubled at all. Okay. All right, so I guess we're calling for the question. And um, <coughs> any, anything else? No? No. If that's going uphill, is there a check valve or something in case power goes out at the wrong time? <laughs> and then come shooting back? That's one of those deals where typically I put a drain field so it flows back, so it's always empty. That way in the summertime or whenever when you don't use it, stuff just doesn't sit in there. Uh, on this particular one, because we're probably going to go to a four inch, that's a lot of a lot of liquid. And you're always going to use it some in the summer. But I would say there would be at least one check valve. There'd probably be there'd be at least one check valve for each pump that's down here, each of the two. Good question. So this kind of explains why the trailer court doesn't let anybody play on that ground, right? Because that's where they're draining. Is that where it is? It must be. They don't let anybody on that ground. On oh, there. they're in the center of it. In the center of the trailer. Oh, is that right? Well, I think, <coughs> by what you're saying, I'm guessing that's what that is, because this we got I all think these is a trailer field here. here. And I don't know what that is. But they never let they don't uh, let people out there. Uh -uh. Okay. For any reason. No. And I'm thinking that that's where they have their drink Could be. All right. So I guess, I guess uh, any 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 further discussion? And then we're going to call for the question. So I guess we're going to go. We're going to vote here on Mickey's motion to do the whole shebang. So, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, right. Opposed? None? Okay, so here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time and efforts and patience. Do you need this back? No.